Dr. Ken Berry, gout, inflammation. Now, the truths that I want you to understand about gout, there's no doubt about this. The research shows it. The common sense verifies it. Inflammation is the problem. Gout is inflammatory in nature, okay? If someone has a gout attack in a joint, they have inflammation in that joint. Now, remember, even a normal joint can have uric acid crystals, so that's not necessarily the cause. Fructose. Fructose is proven in multiple studies, and it makes sense on many levels that drinking lots of fructose is a terrible idea if you want to not have gout attacks. Stop drinking fruit juices. Stop drinking any soft drink or any drink that has high fructose corn syrup or sucrose because sucrose is made of of glucose and fructose. So anything that has sucrose in it or fructose is going to increase your likelihood of having a gout attack. Next is having an elevated insulin level in your blood is, is causing this. That's a big part of the cause is if you're chronically hyperinsulinemic because you're eating too many carbohydrates on a daily basis, that will greatly increase your risk of a gout attack. You've got to decrease inflammation in your body. You've got to get rid of industrial seed oils. They cause inflammation like canola, like margarine, like soybean, like corn oil, peanut oil. All of these things have a very bad omega-6 to omega-3 ratio, and they'll cause inflammation in your body. Inflammation, we now know, is one of the major causes of gout. Next is sugars and grains. Sugars and grains, and the reason I lump these together is because any grain, any grain, rice, wheat, oats, corn, when you break it down in your stomach acid, it immediately converts to glucose and fructose. Oh, wait. So sugars and grains are going to raise your blood sugar. That's going to make your blood insulin level go up. Remember insulin? That's going to increase your risk of a gout flare-up. So sugars and grains are not your friends. Next is you want to keep the insulin level very low, and you do that by eating a low-carbohydrate diet, whether it's low-carb, keto, or carnivore. These diets are going to slash your risk of ever having another gout attack. Remember all the patients I said I'd seen in the past with gout? The diet that they follow is keto or low carb or carnivore. Summary, gout is caused by inflammation. Reduce inflammation by avoiding fructose and sugar. Eating a low carb diet. Avoiding industrial seed oils, also called vegetable oils. Avoiding sugars and grains.